Hello everybody, Clint Seely here. Today's Edit Toolbox tutorial, I would like to cover the Break Apart tool. Okay, now you'll notice it's grayed out, it's grayed out right now, but that is because, sorry about that, that is because I don't have anything on the screen. But let's talk about the Break Apart feature and what this tool does. Just like any of these other features, if you hover over an item, a little box will pop up that gives you a brief description of what the tool does but if you want a little bit deeper of a description just hit the F1 if you hit F1 on your keyboard you see the help menu will come up to that particular tool with a more detailed explanation okay sometimes just this limited amount of uh, information is is good enough to uh, really inform you of what the tool does but sometimes it's not this is why I'm going to go a little deeper and explain uh, the tool. Basically the break apart feature or tool is used to split apart monograms, appliques, lettering, and blackboard runs into separate component objects. I, for the first three is what I use it the most for applique, monogram, and lettering. We can really take full control over the components inside uh, those particular features utilizing the break apart tool let me show you so let's start off with text I need to add some text so I'll go to the digitize I'm gonna left click the lettering tool and left click the background and just type in Son Sonia Kate that's my daughter's name y'all probably know I had a daughter a few months ago Sonia Kate's about two months old right now Okay, so there's Sonia Kate, and I'm going to, since she's a little lady, I'm going to turn it pink. Okay, maybe bright pink so you can see. Okay, there's Sonia Kate. Now, I may want to get artistic with the, the Sonia Kate here, right? Well, if you look in the color film, in the color film, all you see is Sonia Kate. And if we click our little tab there that'll show you the individual objects, you can see everything pretty much looks the same. Sonia Kate is just one object. Even though you have two letters, or you have two words utilize, uh, made up of individual letters, you can't. we can't go in and select uh, one of these letters by itself or one of these words by itself. Well, using the break apart uh, feature, we can certainly do that. So, and, and the break apart feature has different levels. I'll show you. If I break it apart once, it's going to bust Sonia Kate into two words. And then if I select a word and break it apart again, it'll break it apart into separate letters. And then if I select a letter and break apart again, it's going to separate it by the column objects. Okay, so you could really do some very creative stuff here. Let me demonstrate. So make sure your word is selected. And then we'll go back to the edit drop down and go to break apart. Left click on break apart. Left click. Now you can see on the screen nothing really changed. But if we go to the color film and we switch to view the objects, the individual objects right here, left click that. And now you can see we have Sonia and we have Kate. We can select these individually. So I could take Kate now and I could change the color of Kate. Sonia Kate's uh, colors are um, pink and like a light gray. Those, those are the colors that she likes. So there you go, Sonia Kate. But I want to do something even more creative than that. So I'm going to select the Kate and you'll see I that is now its own object. I'm going to select just the Kate and I'm going to break it apart again. Now let's left click, break apart. And now looking at the color film you will see I have Sonia which is one word and then I have Kate. But I can select now the individual letters and do things with those. So I could select the K and make that a light pink. I could select the A. All right, I could make that a yellow. I could, oh, I'm sorry. Here, let me zoom back in. I could select the T and turn that like a teal. You see, you can really take full control over these. As well, We could. I could move this K down here. I could kind of stagger them. Okay, I could do something like this here. Complete control. Now what's cool 
is you have yet another level we could break these apart. I don't know if you would ever want to get quite this fancy with it because on your home embroidery machine you have to change the thread color every time. Uh, on my commercial machine, uh, my Bernina commercial machine here at the house, uh, I would just program this in and it would change colors automatically. So I'm a little spoiled in that regard. But anyway, um, just to show you the power of the tool, I could break this K apart. Now let's look at it in the color film before we break it apart. See how the K is just one object? I have one column here and then I have another column here. If I broke this apart again, now looky here. I could select just that column. I could select just this column. So I could I could break apart individual letters and change the colors of them. Like so. Look at there. Isn't that crazy? I could do the same thing with the A. Let's bust that apart. Now let's go over to the color film and we'll look at the A. See how the, the A is actually made up of two individual objects. So I could turn this part of the A green. I mean, you could get real crazy with this. Really make that that design pop. But that's just a that's a brief um, overview of what the break apart tool does with um, lettering. So let me go ahead and I'm going to move this up on the screen because I want to show you some a few of the other things the break apart feature can do. You'll you know probably already that we have a um, monogram feature. So let me go to the monogram. If you were uh, digitizing and making a monogram under the digitize tab, we can left click monogram, and the monogram uh, box comes up. So let's just do Sonia's monogram. That'd be an S, an S, and a K capitals. And as pretty as this anniversary font is, I think I'm going to change it to something, um, oh, not bamboo, uh, what about Chicago? Yeah, Chica this is nothing fancy, I just want to really show you the, uh, the tool. Um, and then I'll slap an effect on that to make it look a little more like a monogram. Hey, there we go. And then maybe we turn this guy pink. We've turned it pink. And there you go, you've created a monogram. But say you want to take a little more control. I'm going to resize this just for your viewing pleasure. We want to take a little more control. I'm going to zoom in here over this monogram. Sometimes when you create a monogram, everything doesn't visually look uh, balanced. Things don't look uh, spaced correctly. So you can take, and if we look in the color film, see this is just one object. We can, we can bust that apart. We can break it apart using the break apart tool. So I could then left click, break apart, and you'll see over here, oops, you'll see over here in the color film, oh, I gotta break it. With monograms, sometimes you have to click the break apart twice. Remember that. So then I would break it apart again, and then there we go. Okay, so then I've got the three let individual letters. Say the one in the middle you wanted to make a different color, a different shade okay and then we wanted to grab that guy and make him a, even a little bit bigger you can do that and just move him around until he visually looks correct okay so that's how you use the break apart feature with um, monograms you can also do it with applique so you create an applique and you want a little more control over those grouped applique components well we can do that too so let me find um, Go to digitize and let's do the app. Let's left click the applique feature. And then if you right click your points, that'll put a curve on them, making them a curve. I usually like to do that. And then we enter and enter, and there's our applique element. Now, this is nothing fancy, believe me. This is just to show you what you can do. So let me select that object, go to the color film, and you're going to see. There's your applique object. But we can't um, we can't individually select and change some of the features. Maybe we want to get rid of some things. So you can go back to the edit, left click that break apart, and now we can see individually, we can see uh, the outline, the tack, we got the tack down, and then we've got the cover stitch individually, okay? Maybe you want to delete one of those or you want to take a little more control over those. 
you can certainly use the break apart feature to break apart your appliques okay see I can move and now you can those those objects are exposed so you wanted to get rid of one and you didn't need one there you go get rid of both there you go and that in a nutshell folks is the break apart feature in Bernina's digitizing software v7 uh, this is Clint Sealy thank you for watching